ఓకే సో చూడండి మా సో ఎఫెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ టెంపరేచర్ ఆన్ టైమ్ పీరియడ్ ఆఫ్ ఏ సింపుల్ పెండులం వాట్ ఈస్ మెంట్ బై సింపుల్ పెండులం దిస్ ఈజ్ ఏ సింపుల్ పెండులం నమ్మ ఎ థ్రెడ్ ఈస్ కనెక్టెడ్ టు ఎ బాబ్ అండ్ ఇఫ్ ఐ ఆసలేట్ దిస్ వన్ సో ఇట్ స్టార్ట్స్ పర్ఫార్మింగ్ సింపుల్ హార్మోనిక్ మోషన్ క్లియర్ నమ్మ సో ఎఫ్ యాంగిల్ ఆఫ్ మోషన్ ఈస్ లెస్ దాన్ ఫైవ్ డిగ్రీస్ ఓకే సో ఇఫ్ దిస్ యాంగిల్ తీటా ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ లెస్ దాన్ ఫైవ్ డిగ్రీస్ దెన్ దిస్ మోషన్ ఐ కెన్ కాల్ ఇట్ యాజ్ సింపుల్ హార్మోనిక్ మోషన్ ఓకే మా less than or equal to 5 then only we can call it as a such and we know what is meant by time period of oscillation amma time taken for one oscillation is called as uh, time period so and what is the equation of time period in simple harmonic motion we have studied no t is equals to 2 pi root l by g this is the relation now what i do is if i raise the temperature of this uh, simple pendulum so this thread it should have been made with some uh, metal amma so if i raise the temperature of this one what happens to the length the length of the simple pendulum increases okay so therefore after heating after heating length changes length of the simple pendulum changes clear no therefore what i can write i can write a new time period t dash is equals to 2 pi into square root of i can write uh, final l2 is equals to l1 alpha delta t can i write like this ma divided by g okay okay <coughs> final length uh, delta l is equals to l alpha delta t no delta l means what l2 minus l1 okay this is equals to l1 alpha delta t so l2 can be written as l1 plus l1 alpha delta t so final length is l1 into 1 plus alpha delta t okay ma so here i have done a mistake so final length how can i write i will write l2 and instead of l2 what i can write so t pi into square root of l1 into 1 plus alpha delta t divided by g this is what i can write <coughs> understood now what is happening so initial length is l1 final length is l2 okay and uh, this relation already we have written no change in length is equals to l alpha delta t delta l can be written as l2 minus l1 also now so Uh, l2 minus l1 is equals to l1 alpha delta t so what is final length l1 i have to take to that side no so l2 is equals to l1 into 1 plus alpha delta t. l1 i am taking common so that value i am substituting in the case of second length final length are you able to understand so this is the initial time period and this is the final time period okay so therefore if you divide both of them what i will get clear ma i will divide uh, t dash divided by t అమ్మీకి పూజా చల్ ఏ చల్ తు బాయి రూపాయలే క్లాస్ చల్తా హనీ హే చీన ఓకే సో టీ డాష్ బై టీ విల్ బీ హౌ మచ్ మా వాట్ ఆర్ ద టర్మ్స్ విచ్ విల్ గెట్ క్యాన్సల్డ్ టూ పై టూ పై విల్ గెట్ క్యాన్సల్డ్ అండ్ జీ అండ్ జీ ఆల్సో విల్ గెట్ క్యాన్సల్డ్ సో ఫైనల్ ఐ విల్ గెట్ స్క్వైర్ రూట్ ఆఫ్ ఎల్ వన్ ఇంటూ వన్ ప్లస్ ఆల్ఫా డెల్టా టీ డివైడెడ్ బై ఎల్ వన్ దిస్ ఇస్ వాట్ ఐ విల్ గెట్ నో ఇఫ్ ఐ డివైడ్ బోత్ ఆఫ్ దమ్ clear number so therefore l1 l1 also will get cancelled so t dash by t is equals to 1 plus alpha delta t power 1 by 2 this is what i can write root can be written as power 1 by 2 number hmm? now by expanding this one by binomial expansion i will take the help of binomial expansion for expanding this one so what is the method of binomial expansion ma what is the power here that comes as a coefficient to the second term and remaining all the terms they are negligible very small so you can neglect them so therefore how can i write 1 plus half alpha delta t this is what i can write are you able to understand so therefore i will do one more thing i will take this one to this side so t dash by t minus 1 is equals to half alpha delta t then i can write it as t dash minus t divided by t is equals to half alpha delta t okay ma and what is t dash minus t t dash is a final time period t is initial time period so t dash minus t will become change in time period clear no so therefore i can write change in time period divided by original time it is equals to half alpha delta t so this is a very important relation are you able to understand ma so therefore what is delta t by t ma delta t by t is what fractional change delta t is called change delta t by t is called fractional change so this will be the amount of fractional change in the time period of a simple pendulum if it is uh, heated by some value understood no so therefore i can also write so delta t by t is called fractional change ma 
fractional change clear and or you call if you want only delta t then you can write uh, half alpha t into delta t you can write like this also and what is delta t delta t is called change in time period delta t by t is called fractional change in time period and same relation you can write like this also delta t by uh, t multiplied by 100 so half alpha delta t multiplied by 100 what is this one uh, fraction multiplied by 100 percentage change percentage change in uh, time period of a simple pendulum <coughs> understood no? so this is some calculations which you should remember very important concept no? questions were asked many many times previously on this topic okay okay now see so let us see some more concept in the same concept of change of time period in the case of simple pendulum so what was the equation we have written so t dash minus t divided by t is equals to half alpha delta t this is what we have written so therefore t dash minus t is equal to how much half alpha delta t multiplied by t this is the relation okay and how time period of a simple pendulum depends on t is equals to 2 pi root l by g so it means that t is directly proportional to root l no? t is directly proportional to root l so if temperature increases so let us write one case case number one case number one is if temperature is increased so in summer season temperature increases no so let us call this time of the season is summer summer season in summer season temperatures will rise no ma? so therefore what happens to the length of the simple pendulum length of the simple pendulum increases in summer length peru if length increases what happens to time period time period also increases then in this condition t dash is a final time period number no t is initial time period so when temperature rises definitely you can say t dash will be greater than t no huh? any final time period is greater than initial time period okay it means the pendulum starts oscillating very slowly that is the meaning of this one no? time period perigindi ante meaning eme time of oscillation has increased it means what is the speed of the pendulum speed of the pendulum has decreased it oscillates very slowly then only time period increases no? okay it means this pendulum this uh, clock is it gaining time or is it losing time yes. time no lose out on the time again just it, huh? yes. it loses time because it is oscillating very slowly no man so if it oscillates fast time also moves very fast in that uh, clock in that wall clock but if it is moving very slowly the seconds hand also will move very slowly no? if it moves very slowly my actually at evening five o'clock it will show it is only three o'clock only why because it is oscillating very slowly no so it loses time are able to understand so therefore when t dash is greater than t then what happens then pendulum loses the time <coughs> understood now why is it losing time clear no it is losing time because it is oscillating very slowly if it oscillates slowly time period will become very large you know? for one second there should be one oscillation okay but time of oscillation is very slow so second hands also will move very slow time period equate this one tundra can you second hand do work a second move out and good time this one together you could time this one in the time actually it should show uh, it should complete uh, 60 rounds in uh, one hour but it completes only 30 rounds are you able to understand if period of oscillation becomes uh, slow then time period increases time period of oscillation increases if time period of oscillation increases second hands moves very slowly you know if it is most very slowly in one hour how many rotations it should complete 60 rotations but it completes only 30 or 40 okay so therefore instead of evening uh, showing five o'clock it will show only four o'clock it means it is losing time. that is the meaning of it understood no so therefore it loses time why it loses time because because time period of oscillation increases time period increases that's what i have written no t dash is greater than t it means time period is increasing time period if increases time decreases ma time period is different time is different don't be confused here time period means what time of oscillation of pendulum time means what the general time which we see for reading understood no so if time period of oscillation increases what happens to time time reduces it means it loses time 
Okay. Now write the same opposite statement of case number one. Just opposite statement of case number one. How can I write? Okay. So case number two. Case number two is what? If temperature falls. If temperature falls or if temperature reduces, this should be winter time no ma? In winter time, what happens to the length of the pendulum? Length reduces. If length reduces time period, time period reduces because T is directly proportional to L no? Time period also reduces. Time period reduces means what? Pendulum is oscillating very fast. If pendulum is oscillating very fast, it will second hands also will move very fast. If second hands moves very fast, evening 5 o'clock, it will show 6 o'clock. It gains time. Are you able to understand? That's it. Right now. If temperature falls, that is in winter season, T dash is less than T. Final time period is less than initial time period. Therefore, okay, ma? Uh, length of pendulum, length of pendulum, this I have to write here. Therefore, length of pendulum reduces. Okay. If length of the pendulum reduces, time period also reduces. Therefore, pendulum starts oscillating fast. Okay. Therefore, what happens? Pendulum gains time. Okay. It will show a bigger reading when compared to actual reading. Understood now what is happening? So, these concepts you have to analyze. Me to analyze this. Now, put me karthamo to me. Neningo padnal sal je pina. Athamay natle unda natle untu mano. Unless you don't try to understand it, you cannot get the subject. Okay, ma. Now, see ma here. <coughs> this is the general equation which we have written. No. So, this is the time taken for one oscillation. Understood no? And this is the change in time period. So, you can calculate these changes for a particular time period also. Ma. For example, in one hour, what is the change in uh, time? In uh, one day, what is the change in time? Like this also you can calculate. So, general equation, how can I write? Delta T is equals to half alpha delta T multiplied by small t. You can write like this. Okay, ma? What is delta T? Change in time. Change in time. So, change in time means it can be loss of time also, it can be gain of time also, anything. Okay, so this is loss or gain, anything you can write. And this is called period of time. Okay, and period of time may be one hour. For example, if you want to calculate, for one hour, what is the change in time? Either gain in time or loss in time. Similarly, you can calculate for one day also. Okay, for example, he asks for one uh, hour. For one hour, what is the T value? For one hour, uh, how many seconds? No? 3600 seconds. Clear, no? So, this is T value. Similarly, he asks for one day. So, how question can be framed? Ma? In one day, what is the total loss of time or what is the total gain of time? He cannot, uh, he can ask like this also. Then in that condition, what will be this T? This T will be, one day has a 24 hours, no ma? And one hour is equal to 60 minutes and each minute is equal to 60 seconds. Okay? This is how I can write. So, if you multiply all of this, what you will get? You will get it is 84,000. 600 seconds, I think. Huh? Correct only, no? 84,000, uh, 86,400. 86,400 seconds. Clear, no? So, if you, if you are uh, asking what is the change in time period in one hour, this is the T value which you should take. For one day, T value you should take 86,400 seconds. Like that, you can calculate what is the loss of time or gain in time in a particular interval of time. You can take anything for two hours, then you have to write two into uh, 3600 like this. Ah, any calculation he can give, one hour, one day, one week, one year, anything he can give. Ah, everything should be taken in seconds only. If you take this one in seconds, change in time also you will get in seconds only. If you take this one in hours, this one also you will get in hours only. Okay, like this. Depending on the question, you have to change the method of calculation.